Okay, so a little over a year ago in March, I bought four four watt cool white LED light bulbs. So I paid about five dollars a piece for them. So I went and searched them out, and it's like this one right here. One watt, four LED lights, because they came home tonight and the porch light was out. So you gotta buy it now, they're still there. Okay, well I came home and let me take you to it. So here it is. I have it disassembled because I came home and my light is not on. So, more useless information that you can use. And it's amazing to me how the bugs get in there. It's still full of bugs. Oh, I thought maybe the bugs shorted something out. So I managed to disassemble it. It wasn't that terrible. It's been outside in the elements, so it does have some rust on it and whatnot. I didn't have to pry this off too badly. It unscrewed a little button cap for the wires. And first off I thought, well the inverter must be bad. So we took and I wired up the inverter here, which is housed in the base of the the bulb. 120 volts in. It's got a cap, a couple diodes, a little circuit chip there under the transformer. And uh, it puts out about 17 volts right over here. So uh, I had to peel the sticker off to get to get inside. But uh, I wanted to see what failed here as I came home and it's awful dark and I have no light. So I measured the power supply here. This was good. 120 going in, about 17 going out, my 401 watt LEDs. And here's here's what happened. I have my little supply that I can supply voltage to and watch the current. But I went along and I checked each of these LEDs. Let me get some focus here. Okay, went along and I uh, said, well, it can't be the LEDs. These are supposed to last 20 years. But uh, I put my uh, meter on diode check here. And I'll just give you a, a brief, uh, it's hard to do one-handed here. But if I um, go across the diodes, you'll see they will they will forward bias and you get to see a little light. I don't know how I can do this one-handed here, but I'll certainly try. Test this one here. Yeah, I got a little light there. You saw that. And I went around all four, and all had some forward bias, so it did a little light. Probably got to reverse the leads on this one. I'm backwards. Um, so anyway, I went and I tested each one, and just the meter itself gives a little blip. Except this one right here didn't do anything. So I soldered in a. Uh, it's not a one watt, but uh, close enough. And what I did next is. When I was soldering it with the soldering iron, if I placed the iron near the uh, near the LED, it would, it, the 60 cycle in the soldering iron would make the LED light, see? So I went and inadvertently I shorted this one. So this one reads, I can't get the meter in front of you, but this one was open. That was the original defect. Now this one's shorted because the soldering iron, the AC from the soldering iron or whatever, shorted this one. So if I put about 12 volts into this, I'll turn our little supply on here, and bring up the voltage. There, I get about... So this one's shorted so it's not going to light, it completes the circuit, but now I, I, I'll, what I'll do is I think I'll, I'll get a bag of these, and I'll, uh, I'll just stick a regular, uh, not one watt, but I'll stick another regular LED in there. Slap it back together, and we'll have a, uh, a porch light again. So I'll just take uh, one of these, uh, dropping them all over. Let's take one of these replacement LED clear LEDs. No, they're not one watt. The positive is the longer lead, and I touch it across here. But like I say, this one's shorted, so I have to remove this one from the circuit, and I'll put these others, put these two others in, and uh, assemble this back together, and hopefully put it back out on the porch tonight. Okay, so here's our reassembled unit here. I'll turn the light away. Put the power supply on here. We'll bring it up. So I've got my my two one waters, I guess, because I shorted one and one was open. And uh, I've just put in a couple of uh, bright white LEDs. They'll be all right. So they may last. They may not. I'm not putting a dropping resistor across them. I'm just going to try them out. Okay, we'll put a little heat sink, a couple dabs of heat sink compound under our remaining one watt LEDs. 
because if these are going to last another 20 years, you know, we're going to want them to uh, stay cool. But they'll probably rust off first because they're already getting rusty. I hear that's what happens to all these LED Christmas ornament decorations that you put outside uh, versus the older style bulbs is the LEDs all rust. So keep that in mind when you buy those string sets this season. Well, unfortunately, to get the diodes to fit in there, even flush mounted, I had to cut the little prisms off, but the lens here has its own little prisms. So, uh, yeah, we'll go with that for now. In case I want to, I can always go out and purchase some more 1 watt, one watt surface mount LEDs if I so choose. Okay, there we go. Testing it with its power applied to the inverter. Okay, no on the outside won't isn't as pretty as it once was. I did tack it a little shut with some solder there. Next time I'll know this can just unscrew off and we put a little button on. And there it is disassembled with our makeshift LEDs and uh, let's try it. Okay, it was on. Hmm. Well, testing on full power again, it looks like our two uh, milliwatt ones burned out. So it's only running on the, you can't see it, it's only running on the two, which is unfortunate. Here's another look at one of those lights. Here's a uh, another one that's been used outside, but uh, it still operates. And here is the one we're working on. Okay, now it appears our other one that was functioning properly has ceased to function also, and this capacitor in it doesn't look very well either. Looks like it got blown out on the bottom there. Turn it on, no light. And this one has no voltage, no 17 volts at the output. But it is getting 63 volts after the rectifier, which is there, the little bridge rectifier is right there. So the socket is okay, the problem here is with the inverter. Okay, we'll go ahead and test the ESR of this capacitor here. I'll bet you it's bad. No, it says it's good. Okay, our lights on LED 2 here are good. All four of them. So while we were attempting to replace the other one with this one from the backlight, it also died on us. Okay, we've got the one that was working before working again with the circuit from the first light we were working on. So something happened to this one's circuit and it's not the capacitor. Okay now we'll take our functional one and go put it back outside. And in the meantime we'll figure out why this circuit stopped functioning and we also need two 1 watt LEDs. The capacitor is good, but now we've lost something in this circuit. The fun just continues. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. So, in closing, I do have now I repaired the def second defective board, and what was wrong with this one was the transformer that's in crooked try and show you I'm getting my 19 volts this one gets it's kinda hard to do one-handed but uh, we now have the 19 volts across the let me get a clip lead here well here you go my 19 volts across this one now with 120 going in so if I want I used Ohm's law if I have four of these diodes will say 20 volts 5 volts across each one I come up with like 20, 
20 at one watt I get like 20 22 ohms or something like that 20 20 ohms so if I want to put a 20 ohm resistor here and here to divide the voltage up I can have a I can have a 2 watt instead of a 4 watt LED light fixture so that's the end for this portion and that's the repair of the okay well, I want to show you the defect I want to show you the defect the defect was this transformer is in crooked so what happened with this one when we disturbed it I don't know if you can see that leg right there, but that leg right right there lost connection to the capacitor on the corner. So all I did was solder that together. That shiny spot there. So the leg of the transformer reattached where it should because I was getting no ohms. So now I repaired the power supply for the second light bulb that we tried to use for the first light bulb, but then stopped working when we disturbed it.